Welcome one and welcome all, baby, to the People's Channel, Orchids for Dummies. And in today's video, I will be answering your questions, new beginners. What is the best media for your Phalaenopsis orchids? If you want to know, wait until I open this package, but you gotta stay tuned. And welcome on back, baby. Make sure to like this video, okay? Subscribe to the People's Channel. Join my Facebook group where we have these type of conversations all the time, darling. So new beginners, I just want to run it by you really quick. You don't want to pot your Phalaenopsis orchids or any orchids of that matter into potting mix that you use for your regular house plants, okay? Been there, done that. That's We're not in the same type of media, okay? Now, I did recommend this um, orchid media a year ago from Amazon because it's only $3.99. And as you can see, it's a potting mix. So it's not only bark, but it has charcoal and perlite. That's a whole different video. In today's video, we're talking about what is going to be the best bark, okay, for your Phalaenopsis orchids. We're not even talking about um, whether you should grow it in media or water culture. We're simply talking about and talking to those that want to know what is the best bark, honey? What do I need to get that is going to maintain moisture, okay? And that is going to not decompose so fast that I would be able to leave my orchids potted for over a year. <laughs> Yes, ma'am, honey. This is going to be some Orchiata. Orchiata bark, okay? And in today's video, I wanted to break it down to you. Um, let you know versus the pot and blend that you can get from repotme.com why I would endorse this to new beginners because we're trying to save money. You get this really big bag right here for less than $20. I will leave the link in the description box below. Okay, so please like this video because mom is going to be up above and beyond for, you, for the girls, okay? So what I want you guys to know about Orchiata Bark that it um, is also by New Zealand. You can get some from um, New Zealand, the same way that you get New Zealand sphagnum moss. That is going to be the type of bark that this is. So it maintains that good moisture, okay, without rotting your roots. You also want to keep in mind that your orchids come in different sizes. You have extra small, okay, that I would recommend if you have a seedling. You have small, which I would recommend for your uncidiums. You have medium that I would recommend for your miniature phalaenopsis and also some of your um, cat layers, okay? And it goes all the way to extra large because you know some phalaenopsis orchids have very large roots. And so why... I'm sorry. So keeping in mind that it comes in different sizes is also going to help you maintain that good air circulation. Okay, that's what the girls want. We want good air circulation. So stay tuned and I will show you some of the differences. Okay, welcome <laughs> on back, baby. Thank you so much for staying tuned. So like I wanted to tell you, you have different sizes of bark. So let's go ahead and get some of the other things out of the way, such as the special blend from um, repotme.com is going to be very similar and it's going to be mostly bark, this type of bark, but it would be way more expensive just for a quart size bag, you know, which is only about this size is going to be $20. So a lot of people would like to buy bark and make whatever type of um, mix that they prefer. You have a lot of different things that you could use to um, make your own pot and mix, but that's a whole different video. So when it comes to repotme.com, I would agree that it is very good bark. If you're able to pay that amount of money, go ahead, get your lot. Now, this right here has just a whole completely texture coming out of the bag. You can soak it, soak it, soak it all day and all night for two, three years, and it will not be able to maintain the type of moisture that um, the Orchiata bark comes in. You can see such a clear difference, 
okay? And I'm going to tell you that your Phalaenopsis roots are going to absolutely love this. Now, because it is almost fall, you want to go ahead and make sure that you are getting these items and these products because they're flying off of the shelf, okay? They're flying off of the shelf. The orchid community has never sold as many orchids as they have now, okay? That's why you see a lot of houseplant people saying, hey, look at my phalaenopsis. Let me tell you how I care for it, okay? But here on Orchids for Dummies, I want you guys to know the best bark, not because I have been endorsed, but because I've wasted so much money trying to get the best thing that's going to work for me. So you hear a lot of people say, according to my living conditions, this type of bark is going to work for all living conditions. Okay. Now that size bark that I just showed you is medium. This is the large size bark. Okay. So it's nothing as big as what I showed you out of this um, better Grow, okay? Also, I would not recommend the Sphagnum Moss by Better Grow because it also has a lot of sticks and debris in it as well. Now, this right here is going to be extra small, okay? Get a good look. Extra small. And she's been in here already a year. And besides the Sphagnum Moss that I have on top, I would not have to repot her. So it saves you time, money, and energy in the long run. Go, to, go ahead and get the right things for your orchid collection. I hope that I was able to answer all of you guys' ask questions. If you have any additional questions, leave it in the comment box below. If you don't agree that the Orchiata bark is the best bark, leave it in the comment box below so people can get an idea for their self, okay? Well, I love you guys so much. I ask that you go in peace. Happy growing until...